Ever wonder what it actually takes to build one of these massive wind turbines? We're talking about some serious engineering here. Each one of these giants requires hundreds of tons of raw materials from all over the world. And the supply chain behind them? It's absolutely incredible. This is big industry, and this is the engineering marvel behind wind turbines. Today, we're diving deep into the industrial supply chain that makes modern wind energy possible. I'm going to show you exactly what minerals and materials go into these engineering marvels. And trust me, the scale of this operation is mind-blowing. You'll never look at a wind turbine the same way again. All right, let's talk numbers. To build just one modern wind turbine, the industry needs 300 tonnes of iron ore. That's like six full-sized elephants worth of raw material, 170 tonnes of metallurgical coal, essential for the steel-making process, 1,200 tonnes of concrete for the foundation, enough to build three houses. And this is where it gets really fascinating. This isn't just about digging stuff out of the ground. This is a global industry with supply chains spanning continents. Now let's break down what engineers are actually working with here. 60 to 65% iron ore. This becomes the structural backbone. All that steel in the tower, the nacelle, the hub, 25 to 30% coal. And here's the engineering reality. You can't make steel without coal. The coal gets converted to coke in massive furnaces at over 2000 degrees Fahrenheit. That coke literally pulls oxygen out of iron ore to create pure iron. Three to 5% limestone works as a flux in the blast furnaces to remove impurities. Two to 3% copper ore for all the electrical systems. We're talking miles of copper wiring in every turbine. Two to 3% silica sand gets melted down in natural gas furnaces to create those incredibly strong fiberglass blades. Here's what's really incredible about this whole operation. The wind industry has created one of the most sophisticated supply chains on the planet. We're talking about coordinating mining operations in Australia, steel mills in China, rare earth processing facilities, and manufacturing plants across multiple countries. For the US wind industry to hit its 2030 targets, we're looking at needing 600 million tonnes of coal equivalent just for steel production. 30 million tonnes of iron ore annually. That's like moving entire mountains every year. And the precision required? These aren't just big chunks of metal. Every component has to meet exact specifications. The bearings, the gears, the electrical systems, it's manufacturing at the highest level. So the next time you see a wind turbine spinning in the distance, remember, you're looking at the end result of one of the most complex industrial processes humans have ever created. From iron ore mines in Australia to coal operations in Appalachia. From rare earth facilities in China to high-tech manufacturing plants in Europe. Each turbine represents thousands of tons of raw materials, hundreds of specialized workers, and supply chains that literally span the globe. That's not just engineering, that's industrial coordination on a massive scale. Pretty amazing stuff, right? If you found this deep dive into what it takes to make a wind turbine as fascinating as I do, make sure to hit that subscribe button. I've got tons more content breaking down the engineering behind the modern world. Drop a comment and let me know what other industrial processes should we explore. The semiconductor supply chain, shipbuilding, skyscraper construction. The world of modern engineering is absolutely incredible and I'm just getting started.